or do we find the surface area of a cuboid? This three-dimensional shape is called a cuboid. It is bounded by rectangles from all sides. The most important thing we should know about a cuboid is that it is defined by its length, breadth and height. We call them L, B and H respectively. We now need to understand how its surface area is calculated. Its surface area will be the sum of the areas of the six rectangles. We look at each rectangle closely. The area of the rectangle we see in the front will be L multiplied by H and the area of the rectangle at the back will also be L multiplied by H. So the sum of these two will be LH plus LH. Let's remove these two now. The area of the rectangle at the bottom is L multiplied by B, length multiplied by breadth. The area of the rectangle on top will also be the same as that of the bottom. Their sum will be LB plus LB. Now let us take these two to the side. We have covered front and back, top and bottom. What remains is the side faces. The sum of the areas of the rectangles at the sides will be BH plus BH. Area of each rectangle is base multiplied by height. Look at each group. This will be 2LH, this will be 2LB and this will be 2BH. So for a cuboid with L, B and H as dimensions, the surface area will equal 2LH plus 2LB plus 2BH. As 2 is a common factor to all the terms, we write it as 2 multiplied by LH plus LB plus BH. That's how simple the concept of surface area is. We just need to look at each surface individually and add their surface areas. Within surface area, there is a concept of lateral surface area. Remember one simple thing. Lateral means side. So this would actually mean the surface area of rectangles at the sides. There are four such rectangles. This one, this one, this one and the one at the back. In terms of surface area, you can also look at lateral as everything except the top and the bottom. The two green and the two red rectangles make up the lateral surface. The lateral surface area just equals the sum of the areas of these four rectangles. The sum of the green rectangles would be BH plus BH and the sum of the red rectangles will be LH plus LH. The total lateral surface area will be twice LH plus BH. Where do we use this concept of lateral surface area? Well, here's one of the applications. If you want the exterior of your house painted, you do not paint all surfaces. You just paint the sides, not the roof or the floor.